What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we got something cool for you. We're going to be doing a review on a 2023 Honda HRV EXL package two-wheel drive. But before we start, it is not a sponsored video so if you do like our content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel guys, really helps us out and also uh, at the end of this video, we are going to be dropping the MSRP stickers so you guys could kind of get an idea of what exactly comes on this car and this exact package. Also, if you have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us, we could talk details later. And a special, special shout out and a thank you to Auto Nation Honda here at the Roseville Auto Mall for providing us this beautiful car for this review. Let's go ahead and start. So let's kick off this review with talking some specs. Now on this exact car, it does come a front wheel drive. So uh, you do have the option of getting the all wheel drive. And I would just tell anybody, get the all wheel drive because it's nicer when you need it. Now you are gonna be seeing a drop in the MPG with the all wheel drive because the all wheel drive all train system is going to take away from gas mileage. But this exact motor comes a 2.0 four cylinder gas motor, 158 horsepower with 138 foot pounds of torque. Some MPG on this exact car is going to be a 26 city 32 highway and a 28 combined everybody 14 gallon gas tank size for anybody who wants to know let's go ahead and shut this and now starting off well not starting off continuing with the front end look at this fully remodeled front end kind of facelift refreshed look on this HRV, I was about to say CRV, but on this HRV subcompact SUV that Honda put out on the market. Honda Stam, now something you will be seeing different is kind of like that chrome grill knot here and different cuts around the fog light areas or the bezel cuts right there. Now, anybody wants to know, this color is a steel metallic gray color for the ones who want to know. Black gloss grill with a matte black plastic lower grill. Now the trim on the bottom of the lower bumper is black gloss. It's gonna continue around the bottom of the car and we'll show you guys that throughout the video. Bumper sensors integrated into the grill and the bumper cover. Very nice lighting, daytime running lights on this kind of L shape here, very cool. Parking marker integrated into the interior side of that lighting and the black kind of gloss uh, interior side of that headlight continuing to the side of the car now get an idea of the cut in that hood very cool adding some character to the car remember that black gloss trill uh, trim is coming over from the bottom of the front over to the wheel well trim straight through the side and over to the back very cool because i love uh, I love where the wheel well trims will come painted, giving it more of an expensive, higher class look. These wheels, I want you guys to pay attention to something. These wheels will get, be different on different packages. This being an EXL package, we're gonna be seeing some minor differences like interior and exterior, and the wheels will be one. Now these wheels uh, do come a kind of gunmetal gray. Let's go ahead and peel this off, being a new car kind of like a gunmetal gray gloss with a machine surfaced silver on the uh, face of this rim now you do have four disc brakes two discs in the front two discs in the back check out this side everybody I want you guys to kind of get an idea of how this new 2023 hrv looks now side mirror comes uh blind side assist it is not power foldable on this EXL package. You have the integrated lighting into the side mirror with that matte black plastic on the bottom, but also that steel metallic gray look on top. Matte plastic trim on the bottom of the window with the gloss up top and in the middle of both doors. Coming over to the uh, back side of this car, get a load of that quarter panel, kind of get some shape coming through here, kind of gives us a pop, making it a wider look. Over to the rear, very cool tail lights. Loving that kind of uh, futuristic, more techy look on that tail light. Loving it. Black gloss. You got design inside. You have the clear look with that kind of uh, reflector brake light inside. HRV stamped on the driver's side. Honda stamped in the center. Now get a load of that back end. Breathe it in. B uh, bumper 
sensors integrated into that lower bumper cover. Now this lower bumper cover is black gloss. Remember I told you from the front to the side over to the back, loving how Honda brings it all together. But they finished it off with the same color of the car on the bottom end of this bumper cover. Reflectors integrated there. Now let's go ahead and enter the inside of the trunk space. By the press of a button, it is an electric pop, but you have to pop it so it's a manual pop open. And check this out. I want to show you guys something on this tailgate is the camera, backup camera is right above the uh, license plate. Now, this is the trunk space, everybody. Now, of course, you got your mats, but HRV mat with your 12 volt plug in outlet here with some kind of true ambient uh, lighting on the right and the left. Very cool that it's not that soft yellow look anymore. So, you're getting a better lighting system inside the car and some more personal space for your belongings, such as, I don't know, wallet, chapstick, and all that stuff. These seats do come foldable forward. I wanna show you guys. And you do get a lot of space. Let's say you're heading up to the mountain and you got some skis, some snowboards, and you got maybe two or three people or four people, and you just wanna squish. You can do it in this HRV. Being a subcompact SUV, you still can fit quite a bit in this trunk space. Very nice, large opening on that trunk space. But guys, we're pretty much done with the talk of the specs and the exterior of this exact car. Let's go ahead and talk interior. So now sitting onto the interior side of this 2023 Honda HRV, everybody, just get a load and breathe in Honda and how nice and refreshed this look in this HRV. Loving the honeycomb grills, metallic silver with the black gloss trim around, leather dress trim, leather dress seats perforated with the gray stitching, leather dress steering wheel with the gray stitching. Loving it, loving it. Center console, leather dress. Now, EXL, you will see this. Different packages, you won't see this. Take that into consideration. Starting off with the door panel, everybody. Now, you do got the uh, hard plastic with that leather dressed trim handle, gray stitching, control unit for your windows, control unit for your electric side mirrors, metallic silver handle with that kind of black gloss trim around the door handle and going across the door panel. On the left-hand side of this manual steering column, all you do have is the traction control button and a honeycomb grill on that vent with a leather trim that goes across all the way over to the passenger side. Dashboard is plastic with that uh, speaker cover integrated here. Up top, since we're talking for the area of the windshield, you have a adaptable uh, windshield wiper sensor integrated with auto dimmable rear view mirror. Nine inch infotainment screen. Let's go ahead and start the car for the sake of the video. Digital cluster, full digital, or sorry, not full digital. Left hand side, full digital, and on the right hand side, you have your manual tachometer. On the left hand side, you see that it senses me and it's telling me it's not plugged in. That's a very cool, uh, you know, option to have. Now let's go ahead and show you that you can, of course we have fuel, low fuel. We're going to go through the info card, check that out. Brightness, no content, safety support, maintenance, seat belts, just by the controls of the control units here on the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel, like I said, it's leather stitched, leather wrapped with the gray stitching. It's a three spoke steering with a black gloss trim. Very nice. Coming over to the nine inch infotainment screen, everybody. Very responsive on the touch, touch sensitive, and you can slide. Go ahead and compass. Maybe you're going off road, you need a compass. But on the left hand side, you have click buttons. You will literally hear a click when you go and press those two buttons manual control for your volume and going through your controls on your radio. Now it does come uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Assist with Bluetooth and all that stuff, but something that you can take into consideration does not come uh, installed Navi into the system. Remember that. Lower than that on that dashboard look is the dual climate controls, heated seats on the front. Now that is an option for the EXL package. Remember that because people are going to be looking for those heated seats. And I love heated seats in the winter because it's freezing on your tish or on your rear hiney when it's freezing outside. You can sync both climate controls and by the press of a button, you can turn off that climate. 
Lower than that is going to be a wireless charging pad for your phone, USB-A plug-in, cup holders, deep and wide for your cup holders so you can fit leather trim, like I was saying, gray stitching, straight to the point, simple for that uh, manual control knob for the reverse and neutral and drive and all that stuff. And here's your drive mode button. Remember I was mentioning that earlier in the video? Drive mode button, you go up, you go to normal, econ and snow down, and you just can control through those three settings. Hill decline assist button, parking sensor button right here. Very convenient, loving that Honda does that. Parking button right here, because a lot of times you'll see manufacturers put them on the left and you kind of have to reach for it. And they, or it will be the same manufacturer and they'll change where the button's at depending on the car. Loving that the HRV comes with the parking button sensor right here at the disposal of your finger. Brake hold, some straight to the point standard Honda look cubby space, leather dressed armrest with that gray stitching. And look at this, you got like a bridge type thing here with some more personal space for like your wallet or your chapstick or things of that sort and USB-A plugins on the right and the left side of this uh, mid center console. Now let's talk seats, everybody. The driver's seat comes eight way power adjustable, but the passenger seat comes manual along with the back seats come manual, perforated leather dressed with the gray stitching, but loving the fact that it's kind of a bucket slash lux luxurious feel in this. The character for this HRV on these seats, I'm just loving that look. Standard straight to the point glove compartment, guys. And up top, something that you will also see different on different packages is something right above me. And that is the sunroof. Tilt and slide option on that sunroof, of course. Controls for your lighting up here. Now, loving it, I wanna point, pay, uh, point out that they brought kind of that nice blue or true light lighting inside their cars. You don't have that soft yellow. Loving that idea. You see that going across all manufacturers. Sunroof, loving that. You know you get the reliability on the Hondas sunroofs because they never break and never have issues. I work on cars and I build cars and I know what I'm talking about because these things never break. I had a Civic from like 1998 and that thing still goes at like 240,000 miles. So remember everybody, you buying a Honda, you're getting reliability. Now let's go ahead. We're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's talk about the back seating. Now on the second row seating of this HRV, guys, you do not see a simplified back row seating. You will see manufacturers sometimes simplify the front seats over to the back seats, but not with Honda and not with this HRV. Same perforated look with the gray stitching, loving it. You can fit three, does come uh, car seat compatible. These seats, like I was saying, you can drop them from the inside, also from the trunk if you wanna reach over. Let's go ahead and sit. Now, I'm about six feet, two inches. The leg room, and I did not move this seat forward. The leg room is very good. And the head clearance, you get kind of this uh, a pickup on this ceiling where it gives you more head clearance. Loving that, and I do not feel my head touching the top uh, tr uh, trim or the visor or whatever you guys want to call this. Oh, shiznit handles with your nice lighting touch sensitive, very cool, touch sensitive right here where your book is gonna be if you're taking a long road trip and you want to read something. Super cool, let's go ahead and turn those off. And on the center console, pretty straight, simple, to the point, a little bit of cubby room, nothing on that center console, pocket room just on the passenger uh, seating, everybody. Now we're pretty much done, but before we're done, door panel, Simple, straight to the point. Looks like the front, right over to the back with a leather trim control unit for your window and the black gloss with the metallic silver tweeters integrated into that door panel. Now that we're fully done, I want you guys to stay tuned. Remember I told you guys at the beginning of the video that we're gonna drop the MSRP sticker, the price and exact stuff that come on this car with like the tech and the safety ratings and all this stuff. Check that out. Guys, thanks so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned, let us know your comments, questions, concerns on or in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you guys best as possible. Thanks guys for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds.